Alright guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to root or get root access on your Kindle Fire HD 7 inch. Uh, I've done a lot of stuff on the original Kindle Fire and enough of you guys asked I went ahead and picked me up one of these and I'll do a bunch of videos on this thing. I'm going to do all kinds of recovery, ROMs, all that good stuff on the Kindle Fire HD. Um, so let me just go ahead and show you what we're working with. So we're all on the same page with this right here. This is device and we're going to go to about and it just show you what I'm running right here current version which is the Kindle Fire software is 7.4.6 and then user and then that other number on the end right there just so everybody's on the same page with this that's what we're working with right here so let's shoot over to my computer I'm going to show you some files you're going to need to download and set up this process to get root access on this device so over here on the computer guys what we're going to do is we're going to download this file right here and this file right here, or actually, it's actually technically this file right here. So these two. And you're going to extract them, so you just double click on them. They're zip files. This is 7-zip, I use it a lot. Hit extract, or unzip, or whatever you're using to extract them. And when you do, you're going to be left with this one. And I actually created this folder, but it's something with these files right here. So what we're going to do is the first thing you're going to do before you plug in your Kindle Fire to your computer or anything like that is go ahead and run this file right here. And it's going to go ahead and install some drivers. So just hit install. Next. Let all the drivers install. Say install driver software anyway. And this is very important because otherwise you're not going to get the um, correct ADB drivers installed you need to do this process. Okay. So go ahead and hit finish and hit close so the drivers are installed. So on the device now that we have the drivers installed, what we're going to do is go ahead and go into more, go to security, and then right here it says enable ADB, which is development to debug over USB. So you're going to go ahead and turn that on, hit OK. Now that you have that turned on and you have the drivers installed, go ahead and take your USB cable and plug it into the device and to the computer. That stuff on my cable there. There we go. And the computer should recognize some drivers being installed so I'm just going to pop them up so you guys can see what we're looking at here. And on the device, okay, okay. Alright. We can go back to home. And on the computer here, you should be seeing uh, the drivers installed. Alright, so there you go, guys. You can see that last driver right there is called that ADB interface. That is really your most important driver on the drivers that is being installed. That driver took, yeah, uh, about five minutes to install. It took quite a while for me to, for that one to install, which is a little wild. Um, so be patient with your drivers being installed. Give them plenty of time to make sure they all install correctly. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And your drivers are installed, so we're going to go to that file we extracted here, which is then technically here. Click on it. And we're going to go into the Run Me Bat. So we're going to do this. And you have some options right here. So basically all we have to do is this top one right here. It says Option 1. That is what we're supposed to run. So a new standard root, and we'll put option one. So we're going to go ahead and hit one on our computer, and then hit enter. And it's turning on those ADB drivers and debugging. And okay, so right here on our device, it says, please enter your device encryption password. We don't have one. So let's go ahead and hit back up my device, or back up my data. And it's starting back up. Now up here on the computer it says doing a backup first please confirm that your device is unlocked your device and confirm the backup operation is done so I think let's see what it says here it looks like the backup operation is done so press any key to continue 
hit the space bar. Please select to restore my data on your device. So again, restore my data. And it's restoring data. So it looks like it's done. Uh, let's go ahead and hit continue on the computer again. Mm -hmm. Going to reboot now. So you can see the device is rebooting. And basically what this does is it does a backup and a restore to make sure that you can do a backup mm -hmm. restore. And then I think you're going to do another backup and restore. And that's going to, in that restore, it's going to like also insert some super user files to give you root access. I think that's pretty much the trick they're using right here on the Kindle Fire to do this. So we're just waiting for it to reboot. Once it's rebooted, go ahead and unlock it. And you can hit OK for that. Let me tilt my screen really quick. It's going to be a little laggy on this first reboot. Um, there you go, the screen just shut off. Let's see what what we got here. Okay, there it goes. And it just pushed some files on the computer. Uh, I'm going to copy files to place. Reboot again. Please wait. So you can see it did something there on its own once I unlocked it. A little funky looking. Um, couldn't really power it on, so just let it be while it does that. Uh, and we're rebooting for the second time here. But in that place right there, you can see on the computer that it went ahead and it copied over some files. And now it says your device is upgrading, so starting applications. And let's go ahead and see. Unlock it. And now it says something on the computer here. It says unlock your device. Please press any key to restore is done. Press any key to continue. So go ahead and hit the restore my data again on the device. This must be more part of the whole process here. So restore ended. See that? I'm going to back out of that. And then on the computer go ahead and hit press any key to continue. Mm -hmm. And it looks like it's going to do a, another reboot. So you can close the command window now everything should be done when it's done rebooting so we're going to close out the computer program mm -hmm. and wait for the device to reboot okay we've gone ahead and rebooted here so we're going to slide across hit OK I'm going to go ahead and unplug the cable and get a little rotation on the screen there there we go go ahead and go into super user and again we can go into settings and it all looks okay here. Let's go to uh, info. There it is. You can see you have root access because everything's in green right here. But there should be a way to do it. Check for an update on this thing. It doesn't look like they're functioning on here. But uh, there's change log. Normally you can tap that and it will uh, go ahead and check for updates on it but that should be it you should have root access um, I'm gonna download another app here really quick just to prove that we have root access and we'll finish it up alright guys as you can see I just opened this up it says my root checker test and this is not what I'm used to using because I'm using the Kindle here I'm gonna open up this app and just go ahead and we'll go ahead and do a check for root access get rid of all that junk so right here check for root and there you go that's the proof right there really so it says super user request you go ahead and hit allow and it says congratulations got root access um, that's the proof in the pudding right there is that little pop up that proves that you actually do have root access on this device so that's it that is how to get root access on the Kindle Fire HD pretty uh, simple little setup here not too hard pretty basic follow right through the commands on the computer and you'll be good to go um, hope you guys like this little uh, instructional video on the Kindle Fire HD 7 inch getting root access 
Um, I'll be having many, many more of these coming as the days go on with custom recoveries, custom ROMs, getting Android on it and Kindle off of it. That baloney ad-based software of the Kindle. Um, so stay tuned on that, and we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie out.